Plan with me for March 2024. Hello! Welcome to the video. My name is Neka. I am a 29 year old graduate student at Columbia University studying clinical psychology. I'm also a yoga instructor, also interning at the United Nations, doing a lot and trying to think of what I want to do with my YouTube channel. But for now, we are planning for March 2024. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not new here, you're probably like, girl, where are you? <laughs> And right now I'm actually currently in San Francisco. Well, correction, I'm in Palo Alto. I am actually presenting at the Muslim Mental Health Conference at Stanford University tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. But if you're not new here, you're probably like, girl, you have not been uploading consistently. You have been gone off the YouTubes. And it's true because I've just been really busy. Like in the past two weeks, I literally was in Colombia, then back in New York. As soon as I get back into my groove in my hometown, not my hometown, but I live in New York City. So I feel like as soon as I got into a groove in New York, I looked up and I was like, oh, I have to go to San Francisco this weekend. So my life has been a bit crazy and I'm hoping that if we plan things right, we can kind of get back on track. So without further ado, let's start the plan with me. I have my laptop here even though you guys can't really see it but let's just hop into my notion so I learned this really cool trick that if you actually do command shift L it'll turn it into dark mode or command shift L to turn it back into light mode which this is kind of the first time I had to learn that because I usually film these in the morning but it's not the morning anymore so this is my notion if you want like a grand overview of what it looks like I would suggest you watch my January plan with me but I might also make a separate video just going through that and then you can see here my big beautiful vision board and I just like to look at it at the start of each month just to like realign on like what am I trying to do here so I have a piano here because I'm trying to learn piano I have lots of like big bold like actresses and Columbia obviously because I graduate this year all these things we can talk about them later but let's just get right into March so I do like to start my notion my monthly notions with actually checking in on my yearly goals just to make sure I'm kind of like on track for those so personal journaling once a week I have actually been really good at journaling this year like honestly last week I was really going through it emotionally and I probably journaled every day sometimes multiple times a day so I feel like I did really good for February doing that um one first date per month I don't think I went on a first date in February at all <laughs> But honestly, I had a really like vulnerable and emotional conversation with like one of my long term friends. And I feel like that counts. Like honestly, that conversation took a lot more vulnerability than any first date ever would just because we've known each other for so long and we have so much history. So I feel like that counts. Like I'm going to check that off in my head mentally because or I guess I can also check it out here. Learn piano. I've actually been really good at my piano lessons and like just practicing on a daily basis on the keyboard. So I feel like we're doing good there. I've been going to my choir lessons, doing good there. I have, I've been really bad at Spanish. And I even when I went to Colombia with my friends, I felt like I didn't even try that much because I could just lean on them to speak Spanish for me. And I honestly converse mostly in English the whole time. So that's something that I could really be better at. Budgeting I also was really bad at in February. And therapists, I did actually, I emailed three therapists. I had one interview with one therapist and she ended up rejecting me, but I tried. So I feel like that was good. Um, I'm just setting these back to zero because this is my yearly and we're gonna look at this at the end of the year, but I just like to check in to make sure I'm doing it for the monthly. Health and fitness, I feel really good about my fallen angel. Um, I kinda did that in February slash January 
And for March, I actually want to focus my yoga sequences on the splits. So that's going to be coming up soon. My podcast is actually launching in March, which I looked over here and I put launch in February. That didn't happen. It's actually going to launch in March. And we've been doing choir practices. So I feel like we're in a really good place. And then, yeah, I didn't do the splits though, but I did Fallen Angel. And that's also something I really like about Notion. Like you can kind of, like things aren't set in stone. You can kind of just make it how you want it to be as you kind of go through your life. <laughs> um, I've been good at my iron supplements, but I do need to retake them. Um, lunch podcast coming up in March. Again to PhD, I actually have a bunch of clips that I have compiled for you guys for my PhD update, which will probably be the last installment in that series. So hopefully I can get that out for you in March. Don't know what we're doing about a salary, a nine to five user experience career. I'm not even sure if I want to do that. We'll see. <laughs> Doula business is coming. Doula stuff is coming. Graduation is coming. I think we're in a good place. Let's dive into the monthly goals. So for February, film three podcast episodes. I did that. Apply to four jobs. I did not do that. I did do my PhD interviews and I feel really good about them. Um, but again, I have a video coming to talk to you guys a little bit more about that. Review SPS. SPSS, which is a statistical analysis software, which I honestly like preparing for my conference in Stanford, I was heavy running data analysis queries in SPSS and I felt really good about them. Like I honestly felt like a real scientist. So I'm really excited about that. I did an outline for my UN maternity paper, have not written too much though, and my internship actually ends in April, so that's something that's going to have to be a huge priority in March that I need to do. Um, I told you guys I emailed three therapists, interviewed with one therapist, got zero therapists out of it. So I need to hurry up and do that, especially because my university insurance expires in May, I believe. So. Realistically, I'm only going to have like two months, maybe three if they're generous with this therapist. So I definitely want to get it going sooner rather than later. Wow. Duolingo once a day. That did not happen. Budget for February. That also did not happen. But I have faith when I get home in March. It already is March. <laughs> it's March 1st actually. But when I get home, I'm gonna try to sit down and do all my February finances because between Columbia and now the Stanford trip, like I've just been spending a lot of money on Ubers and like Uber Eats and like dinners and stuff. And normally like I eat at home, I take the subway, like I just don't spend money like that. So I do think I have been way over budget and that kind of scares me. And when I intellectually think like guesstimate them over budget it makes me want to budget less which is like a cycle of financial anxiety that I get into so we're gonna rip the band-aid off when we get back to New York City um and sign up for piano lessons I did it was about six hundred dollars which actually wasn't that bad considering that I get like 18 classes like it's three months of classes so I, I feel really good about that I did not do this. Do you even remember that it was a goal of mine? Like, when did I say I wanted to try veganism? I don't even know if I'm into that. Um, I did do the 12 through 30 for two weeks. Not like every day, but like I did it enough. Enough for me to get so tired from walking so much that I got like physically sick. So I have to be really mindful about that because I already exercise a lot as it is. So when I add in something, even if it's even if it's like as simple as walking, like my body is just like, whoo girl, like either you need to eat a lot more or you need to sit your ass down. So kind of learning the balance between those two. Um, and then go to sleep by 9.30 p.m. I feel like I'm the queen of that. Like honestly, I will go to sleep. You don't have to check for me, boo. Uh, again, I don't really like digital journaling, so I'm probably not gonna do 
any of this and if I do do it I will not do it with you guys because some things have to be sacred okay we're in business so let's do our goals for March so career goals honestly oops health and fitness goals so the first goal for March is going to be my splits I need to create a new yoga class that is focused on the splits but I do have the playlist nearly done so I'm gonna tighten that up when I get back in March um, what else do I want to do Duolingo once a day we can leave that there I can try to get back into Duolingo I was in a really good routine with like learning languages because I was doing Igbo and Spanish for a while if you don't know I'm Nigerian my father's Nigerian my mom's African-American my father is Igbo I'm Igbo but do I speak Igbo? No. So <laughs> I wanted to kind of learn a little bit more and I was doing a really good job like studying Spanish in the morning, studying Igbo at night. And I kind of just fell off that because I stopped doing my morning routines and nighttime routines really heavy. So maybe we can add that back in here. So open Duolingo once a day. I'm going to leave that there because that's basically for Spanish. <laughs> But I also want to make it a goal to kind of like review morning and nighttime routines because I was really on top of my language learning when I had really solid routines and I just haven't really had a solid routine despite what I posted <laughs> earlier in the year, my morning routine and my night routine. I, I, don't, I don't know, like I feel like I'm just so loosey goosey with myself. But I guess it's also my year of doing nothing. So I don't know. I'm going to review them. I honestly will probably watch those videos again, but we'll see. I digress. I'm rambling. Um, for my career, we're finally launching our podcast. Ah, so I'm really excited to share that with you. Launch podcast. And no, the podcast won't be live by the time this goes up, but it might. Okay. If it is, I have the cover art, so I'm just gonna share it here. You guys can check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna keep applying to four jobs because I need to start applying to jobs. I'm gonna remove my PhD interviews because I don't have any more, and I need to work my UN maternity paper, and is there anything else? Oh, I really want to do like um, a meditation challenge with you guys, so I wanna, do a meditation challenge I'll probably do like either two weeks but I think ultimately I want it to be four weeks like 30 days but I think in March I'm just gonna try to outline the first two weeks of it and then I also want to come up with a solid like marketing strategy because I'm about to be a doula guys so I want to start getting some doula clients and I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to do that. So I kind of, I worked on like an entrepreneurship class in my last semester of graduate school. So I have like a rough idea, but I kind of want to take that idea that's kind of on paper and put that idea on a calendar, maybe even make its own like notion page and then like start implementing on it that way. So for health and fitness, I only have the splits here, but I kind of think that's fine like I feel like I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my life so I don't really feel like I have that much to really add and in our February plan with me I literally forgot to do this part with you guys so <laughs> we're making progress there and I'm really proud of us let's go into our weekly check-in honestly I think we can kind of skip that mainly because I have been very bad at like actually doing it so as you can see I still have like my midwife like maternity paper on here morning and nighttime routines a bunch of things on the to do's that I haven't done oh god some of this I don't even think I can show you guys like my whatever I'll just blur that out but yeah we are far behind on life as you can tell <laughs> Um, YouTube posting dates. I feel like this is like everyone's favorite part because he doesn't like seeing what I'm going to post. So today I was supposed to go live with the Columbia vlog. 
that did not happen. We're currently filming the March plan with me, so I'm gonna move that to the 5th. I'm gonna try to get that out earlier, but I think, honestly, probably the 5th will be the earliest I can get it out. I'm gonna move some of these down because I just, I'm gonna move them all down to like the last week of the month because I am far behind on videos. So the next vlog I do wanna get out for you guys is actually, oh, I still need to do this too. Oh God, okay. Yeah, so I'm probably not gonna generate any more video ideas for March because this is actually filmed. I just need to edit it. Columbia is also filmed. I just need to edit it. This weekend in my life is also filmed. I need to edit it. For actually continuity and like chronicity, chronological order. For those purposes, the weekend in my life needs to go first and then Columbia vlog and then new luxury black bag. Yeah. And then maybe I'll move these here, but yeah. That's what we're looking like for our YouTube posting schedule. Honestly, just taking most of the stuff I was supposed to post in February and hopefully posting them in March. I have just been behind on vlogging. Not even on vlogging. I've been vlogging a lot. I just haven't been editing a lot. And that's mainly because I just haven't been home. So thank you all so much for your patience. Please subscribe. Don't unsubscribe. Don't leave me. I'm sorry. I'm really trying to get these videos out. I just have so much going on. Oh my God. And I actually have to write my IP because it's due April 1st. So let's go back to the monthly goals for career. I cannot forget about that or I won't graduate. <laughs> so big, bold, write IP for graduation. Yeah. So Every month is different and I think March is going to be a very career heavy month for me just because I need to prepare for life after graduation and yeah I don't really have that many personal goals. I don't really have that many health and fitness goals because I just need to get my life together for post graduation. <laughs> Alright let's go back to my podcast. No we're gonna get there. Books and media, I've been posting these little like book review videos. I don't think you guys like them that much because they don't really get that many views, but I like posting them and hopefully maybe one day the algorithm will catch on. But I just finished reading The Paris Apartment literally on the plane to, um, to, um, where am I? literally on the plane to San Francisco <laughs> and that was really good I really like it I like like it was just it was so much fun so I'm gonna be recording that I'll probably add that to my March uploads and yeah I'll let you guys like know my thoughts a little bit more in that video but that was really good and I'm trying to figure out like what I should read next right now I'm just rereading The Alchemist actually I have it here great book love rereading it but like also, wait, a moment of just like catching up. So I'm traveling to a Muslim mental health conference, right? And I literally like was talking to my friend who lives in Brazil about like visiting her in Brazil. I start reading in this book. The author is Brazilian. And then the book is all about this Spanish boy who goes from Spain to North Africa, is surrounded by Arabs, learns Arabic, and it's just like, wow, like, I'm learning about the Quran and stuff in this, and I'm like, oh my god, how synchronistic that I choose to reread this when I'm on my way to a Muslim mental health conference to be surrounded by Arabs and to be, like, picking up a little bit of Arabic. Like, that's just crazy to me, but I really enjoyed this book, and if you haven't read it, you should. It's like a really great spiritual book. Back to my bookshelf. I'm trying to see which book I should read next. I read this one, so we're gonna delete that. And then I just finished reading that is gone. And 
I don't see the Paris apartment on here, so I think we're good. But if you read any of these books, or if you want to read any of these books, let me know in the comments below, like which book you think I should read next, or if you have any books that you think I should read, let me know. I love reading, so I read a lot. And I think this is honestly going to be short and sweet because I don't have to... Oh my god. Content trackers. Duh. This is honestly probably my favorite part. We can start with my Instagram, which honestly... <laughs> I have been so bad at posting on Instagram. I'm trying to get better. But if you like Instagram and you want like more real-time updates with me, follow me there. Otherwise, I actually posted twice this week which is kind of crazy because I never post on Instagram, but yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I have less Instagram followers. Oh no, I haven't. <laughs> well, I forgot to do this for February, but it's fine. I have actually gained four subscribers, so I am pretty proud of myself, even though I have like literally no Instagram strategy whatsoever and I barely show up on the platform, <laughs> but it's fine. So let's go to TikTok. I'm gonna do, I'm like saving YouTube for last, honestly, because YouTube makes me the most happy and I like to manage my happiness. <laughs> Always saving the best for last. So we can go to my TikTok growth, which I honestly don't think I've tracked this in a long time either. Let's see. Yeah, I forgot to do February, I guess. So I have one, eight, Four, is that right? No, I have one eight seven. Okay. One eight seven. So I lost one. Oh well. I honestly I'm like when's the last time I posted on TikTok? The last time I posted was September of twenty twenty three. So <laughs> I'm like I don't think I can really be mad at that <laughs> if I'm being honest. So yeah, I think a part of my marketing strategy for my doula business will probably be being active on these platforms again, but until then, we'll worry about that for another day. But let's check out the Piece de Resistance, my absolutely favorite, favorite, favorite social media to track. YouTube, obviously, duh. <laughs> I honestly spend the most time with you guys. Like, I'm sorry I've been a little neglectful, but y'all get the most out of me. Like. The Instagram girlies aren't getting anything. The TikTok girlies aren't getting anything. I show up for y'all on YouTube. <laughs> so let's do March. It is March 1st too, so it's actually a really good time to check. Ooh, so I'm at 906 subscribers for March. Wow, I actually gained a lot. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really love you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Okay, so my watch time has actually been really down because I haven't been posting as much, which kind of sucks. So yeah, we took a bit of a tank when it comes to the watch time hours. I'm at 2,764, which, because on average, I usually get 100 watch time hours a month, but right now I'm at 77.5 watch hours for the month. So it kind of makes sense because I just haven't had as many new uploads and the uploads that I did do just like, did not, were not as popular as they usually are for like my vlogs or my book reviews. Well, my book reviews really aren't that popular. But anyway, my numbers are down, so I'm not surprised that my watch time hours are a little bit down. But let's see, what are my lifetime views? So my lifetime views are 144,468. 444 I've been seeing a lot recently and I'll you'll probably see it in the Columbia vlog but like yeah it's just been really interesting and I looked up the spiritual meaning of 444 when it comes to love because it kind of happened right after I had that like huge conversation and I'm just kind of like hmm I'm not gonna say too much because some things have to be sacred but like if you know you know <laughs> All right, so I feel really good about that. And I honestly think maybe we can end this plan with me here. Is there anything else I'm missing? Quotes I like, doula training. Uh, I need to kind of do some of that. Yeah, I feel kind of good. Okay, let me stop recording. Oh God, 
We literally have 1% left on my camera battery. So I'm going to love you and leave you here. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.